want to show you how you can calculate the yield to maturity using an HP 12C financial calculator. So what is yield to maturity? Yield to maturity is the interest rate that makes the present value of the future cash flows equal to the price of the bond. And you actually have to solve this either using a spreadsheet like Excel, and I happen to be in Excel right now, or you have to use a financial calculator. It's a nonlinear equation, and so you can't solve it algebraically. So actually, the calculator and Excel solve it by trial and error. They try, they try an interest rate. If, they, if it's not high enough, they'll try a higher interest rate. And it just keeps guessing. It just does it a lot faster than you can do it. So here's the equation. So what are the cash flows? The cash flows, you're going to get these annual coupons. But because there's semi-annual coupons twice a year, you're going to get C divided by 2 every six months. You're also going to get uh, the interest rate we're going to use is going to be Y divided by 2. Remember, if you're using semi-annual coupons, you need to use a semi-annual interest rate to discount by. You're going to have twice as many periods, so if the bond matures in T years, you're going to have two times T periods. Okay, So if it matures, for example, in my example here, in 10 years, it matures in 20 periods. And then that final period, you also get back the par value. So let's take a look at um, an example here. We have a, a bond that has a par value of 1,000 a price of 11.25 the maturity is 10 years and the coupon rate is 7%. So the 7% coupon means you get 7% of the par value every year in interest. So that would be $70. So you'd get $35 every 6 months in interest. If it's t matures in 10 years, you're going to get have 20 6-month periods. The par value is the future value and the price is the present value. So let's see if we can do this on the calculator. So I have my calculator here. So you can clear the workspace by hitting this function key and right here that will clear all the financial functions. So what are we going to put in? We're going to put in 20 periods for n we're going to put in the price of the bond, 11.25, and we need to change the sign. So CHS is to change the sign. Now it's negative. That's our PV. The payment over here is $35, right? Half of the $70. So 35 for PMT, and we put in 1,000 for the uh, future value. And then we just hit the um, I key, and we get 2.68. But that's a semi-annual rate, so we have to multiply it by 2. So using this calculator, we hit 2.68, enter, and then 2 times, and we get 5.37%, which is exactly what I got here when I used Excel. Here I used the rate function, and... Actually, let me just type that in since I'm here. So you type in equals rate, and then the number of periods is 20. The payment is 35. The price is going to be minus 125. And the future value is going to be 1,000. And again, we get this, we get 3%. You have to expand the decimal place, and you really need to multiply this by 2. So I'm just going to put in here times 2, and we get the 5.37%. So very easy to do to calculate using a financial calculator or if you're using Excel.